ordered this a couple days ago. And it's here. I've already opened the package, obviously. As you can see, because I am impatient. I had to make sure it's in one piece. <laughs> Decently packed, I guess. Sweet! So now this sucker's got to be torn apart so I can install it! Fun. Okay, now the final part, this part, basically the upper half needs to detach from the lower half. Yeah, needless to say, this is not the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> I've already upgraded the CPU once in its lifetime, about two months after I first bought the laptop. External, actually, internal hard drive used to be external. Little bitty Bluetooth module. And the main body of the laptop motherboard. This is what we're after, or at least what's underneath. This sucker right here. As you may notice, there are a couple numbers on here. They tell you in which order to take these screws out, because if you don't do it right, you risk damaging the CPU. Obviously, I have not been into this thing in a while. <laughs> it needs a clean out. I mean, granted, I've seen worse, but I usually don't let mine get this bad. Hmm. But generally, everything in here looks good. Anyway, here's what we're going for. Alright. This here. Core 2 Duo, 2 gig. What we gotta do, we gotta turn that, and that releases the CPU from the socket. You can see it move. And now, it just comes right out. Not too difficult, really. One is a Core 2 Duo, one is a Core 2 Extreme. They're two different processors, but... Intel says my chipset is compatible with this CPU, so it dang well better be. So we just stick that right in here. Match up the notch pins which with the notches on the socket. Drop it in there. 
I gotta clean off the dye. Someone put their fingerprint marks all over it. That's not gonna be good for cooling. What also won't be good for cooling is if I leave this as is and just stick it on there. As you can see, nice shiny clean dye. Very reflective. <laughs> not as much, or much more than it was earlier. I'm gonna smear that around a little bit and clean that out. Yeesh. <laughs> okay, so basically what I'm doing here is getting rid of the heat transfer compound that goes between the CPU and the heat sink so I can put some brand new stuff on. Nice and shiny! I kind of scarred it up a little bit, but hopefully that won't be too big of an issue. Get rid of that extra stuff. You don't want any body oil between the CPU and the heat sink. That would not be good. And there we go. So, what I gotta do now is take my little bitty thing of Arctic Silver that cost me 20 freaking dollars and smear it all over the dye of the CPU. Basically what this stuff does is transfers the heat from the CPU to... Oh, I guess I should probably lock the CPU in place. <laughs> I don't see picking it up again anytime soon. And that is done. This transfers the heat from the CPU to the heatsink. Don't ask me how it works, because truthfully, I am not 100% sure. But let's just say it works. I'm smothering this thing, <laughs> the compound. Okay, now that that's done, I can reinstall the heatsink. And again, I have to tighten the heatsink back on in a certain order. Because if I don't, I may damage my brand new CPU. And that would really, really suck. Just saying. <laughs> so let's do that. Always pay attention to your numbers. One, two, three, four. And never tighten it down all the way before you get the other one started. Okay. The CPU is installed. Now I get to put this sucker back together. Oh wow. Check that out. I got a hole in my cover. Where's the missing piece? Oh great. One of my hold down screws is busted off. Fantastic. Oh well. Okay, well hopefully this will hold together until I get it back together. It may not do me any good in the long run, but at least I won't lose the piece. And 
is complete. Get some power. And now the moment of truth. Hot dang. I almost don't believe it. Sweet. I love it. I like how it looks like I'm looking through a window and that's just appearing in midair. I find that interesting. <laughs> Hi. Love my blue lights. Wow, this takes a while. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet! Restart required. It looks like it's working fine to me. Later, later. Definitely not. <laughs> Alright, we have no management yet, but we'll get there eventually. <laughs> I like that CVU temperature. Yeah! Ha, ha, ha.